Let's take plants out of flask and put them in soilless media. Start by mixing two parts cocoa coir, two parts perlite, and one part horticulture sand, and make sure it's moist. Put it in whatever pots you choose. I usually put it in uh, 12 pan seedling trays, but we're using these today. Get a container where you have at least one quart. I'm gonna make three quarts of product today. We're gonna add one teaspoon per quart of water, so I'm gonna add three. I've also got iodine. I'm gonna add about 12 drops into three quarts. So it looks like this. It's nice and stirred up. Now we'll move to the plants. I'm gonna remove all the gel and separate the plants. You do wanna pull off the dead pieces, but you don't wanna separate the babies if they don't have any roots. Where my fingers is, is like callus. Be careful not to pull that off as that is important. Yes, I know you may wanna separate these so you have more babies to sell, but wait until they're acclimated to separate them. Otherwise you risk killing them all. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna take a baby, dab it on the cloth to get the moisture off the bottom, then dab it in great white, which is trichoderma and rooting hormone. Make sure to get it on the bottom part and on the roots. Make a little hole in your soil and drop the baby in. Make sure to cover all the roots. Don't forget to put the name and date of the plant so you know what it is and how long it needs to acclimate. And we're done. I'll probably end up with like 30 or 40 plants from this. It is really important um, after they acclimate to separate like the big clumps like this as they won't grow properly if they're not. Here is one of my tissue culture ring of fires. It has one single baby on it and it is bigger than its mother plant now. This one came out of the same batch and I left all the babies on it. Um, it got tampered with so the experiment's no longer going on anymore but um, see how much smaller it is? It is like so tiny and it doesn't grow as well.